Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. We're all, we're all walking around with all kinds of stories and victories and hurts and dreams and purposes and, and uh, <laughs> we, 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 this is going to take me forever to talk about, I'm, 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 I can't get by it though. Often the things we pay attention to in our life create circumstances for us that we can never get around. And so we always focus on things that, that God really doesn't want us to focus on. The, the, the circumstances sometimes in our life come to change us. And sometimes, can I say it like this? The devil knows the best way to stop you. And he, he did something, allowed something to come into your life. He, he worked it into your life, you know, like Job. Like, did you see my servant Job? And God, God, God allows some things to happen in our life and we don't understand them, we don't like them, and we, don't, we, we, we never get over it. And so the, the enemy comes to take away what God wants to use for greatness in our life. Sometimes the very thing that he brought in that's, that is in your life that you fight with so much is really just to keep you humble. It's to keep you humble so that your dependency would not be on yourself but on him. Amen? Come on, let's, let's start to pay attention to what God wants to do through us in, a, in, the, in this moment, in this very moment. Maybe it's just take a note. Maybe it's just, just, to, just to, to, to pay attention to what he's doing right now in this moment. Amen? Because <laughs> sometimes our focus is on our inward struggle more than it is on the upward answer, amen? Because if I'm always focused on how I feel, I'll never do anything other than what I feel. I'll never be any more than what I feel. And God is not calling you to sit, to sit down in your feelings, okay? Okay? He's not calling you that. He, it's important to, to consider our response to life situation. We, 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 have to, we have to consider our response and I'm not talking about, you know, the kind of response you have when someone comes up and says, hey, I got a new car. And you're like, yeah, awesome. I wish I had a new car. <laughs> no, it's like, hey, all right, awesome. I'm glad you got a new car. And, and get excited for the person, not, not, not reflect it back on my inability to get a new car, okay? Or <laughs> they got all that nice stuff and I got nothing. God is always blessing everybody else. He's never blessing me. I'm always the one that's always... <laughs> And we end up, guess where we end up, though? Guess where we end up? Same place. Not moving. And you know what? I'm tired of not moving. Amen? Truth is, whether we have or have not, we should be being who God created us to be. Amen? Amen? Amen. That's that's a uh, see. You see, it's 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 our action or our inaction that God wants to, to use and work through. It's 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 my my ability to believe is is so important because who I what I believe reflects my identity, and and if my identity is in what happened, I'll always be that. I'll never be anything other than that. I'll always stay there. I live my whole life. Oh, poor old me. I was a good guy. Something happened. Luke 6, verse 45 and 46 says, I don't have time to, to dig into it, but I'm going to just read it to you. A good man out of the good treasure's heart bringeth forth that which is good. What treasure do you have in your heart? What treasure do you have in your heart? A good man out of the good treasure heart brings forth the good things. Amen. Something needs to be flowing through me. Amen. God is good. God is good. Amen. We all say that God is good. He's good up there. But is he good in me? Amen. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. The, the trouble is, the trouble is we struggle between, I'm going to say it like this. We struggle between genuine and non-genuine. That's what we struggle with. Is, are you a genuine Christian? Are you a genuine believer? Or are you non-genuine? You know, it's like, like, do you want some real cheese? Or do you want the non-genuine artificial cheese. I mean, because they both kind of taste the same, right? But only one is genuine. And it's the same, same with me. 
I'm either, I'm either a genuine believer or I'm just a non-genuine believer. I'm in it for what's good for me or I'm in it for what's good for the kingdom of God. Two different things. Amen? Two different fruits that come from us. <laughs> a believer is measured, let me say it like this, a believer is measured by their obedience. Do you believe that? Yes. 